Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So in this video we're going to go over how to install Android Codeworks for Unreal Engine so you can develop for Android platforms specifically but this also this is also needed if you want to develop for the Oculus Quest so the since it runs on Android we need to install Android Works with our source version of Unreal to manage that. Um, this works with the editor project as well so the epic games launcher you can actually it's the exact same process for that so from that we're going to jump straight in i'm using visual studio because i'm running the source version of unreal which if you followed my last tutorial you may possibly be doing as well uh, let's get on with it this video is going to show you how to install nvidia works so if you want to develop to an android platform you need to install this to be able to allow Unreal Engine to build to Android. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down to my local disk where I've got Unreal Engine installed. So you need to find your version of Unreal Engine and then go into the main folder you'll see there. Then we want to go to Engine, uh, Extras. From here you can see we've got Android Works. This is basically what we need to build to mobile. So we're going to double click that. I'm using Windows, so I'm going to use Windows 64. We're going to hit the EX, we're going to launch the EXE because it's it's super easy from here to be fair. So we double click that, wait for it to load up. It may take a minute or two. Cool. So now you'll have this page here. All we need to do is go next, and then there's a little bit of information about what it is. Cool. So you can see here, mine's already saying that it's going to install to my C drive, which is my main drive, and as well as the download directly because it'll download some more content from the NV pack once we've enabled it. I'm going to say no, so that looks all good. And I'd recommend installing it in a location where your main Unreal Engine is. That way we don't have to do too much in the engine itself or the project files, it'll just be good to go. So I'm going to do this, hit next, it's going to start doing extracting resources and then if we go back to C drive, you can see we've got NV pack, which is here. So you can see we've installed it in the right place, so it's all in good. So you'll be redirected to this page once it's installed and it looks confusing as hell, but all we need to do is literally hit next. And then accept all the licensing, which you can go through if you want to here, which isn't too bad. It's quite long, some of them, but you get the point. So we're going to hit accept. Now what we need to do is wait for these to download, and then we'll be able to load up Unreal. So I'll come back once this is done. It may take a little while, so just give it, give it some time. But that's everything that we need in there. Awesome, so that's all finished. Now what we need to do is just hit next and finish. So we come to the decision, let's restart your computer. So I'll restart mine and I'll come back as soon as it's done. Cool, so I'm back after restarting my machine. I'm going to load up Unreal. You can do this through the Visual Studio or your Epic Launcher, same way as normal. So while this loads, I'm going to wait. So I've got a test build project here. I'm just going to select that and then open that project. All it is is the base project for the, the virtual reality demo. Wicked. So now we're in the editor. All we've got to do is go to edit, project settings. So what we'll do first is actually, you might have to go to Android SDK if you don't see the, like, the green bar with this screen and accept SDK license. If you don't see that, but because it's in C drive or your main hard drive, it should actually load up without having to fill these in. But what you can do is actually just select here and then go to your drive and find the Android SDK stuff. So uh, I think it's that, yep. So you see we've got that one there, Android SDK, 
and then Android NDK is this one and then you've got Java JDK which is in here I believe it's so you just select the folder and then load that up but for now you don't actually need to do this you can just go to Android accept SDK license and you'll be greeted by this little menu here after you've read that you can go to agree and you're pretty much good to go you can actually start building to Android devices so believe it we test this we've got a file project, package project oh, I might need to set the project to Android support platforms so you have to go to support platforms Android and then just give that a little test so close that file package project Android and now you can see you can choose a location select the folder and then just build the project so my documents I'll do a new folder Android build like that cool so basically what you get and that means you can build to Android now so hope that helps this will be the first step in in building to the oculus quest which I'm going to do some tutorials on later on so if you want to stick around to see them drop a like on this video which is super useful for me and subscribe that way you can keep up to date with the latest videos and I'm going to try and get one of these out each week to sort of bring it up and then hopefully go from there so if you've got any questions leave them below and I'll get onto them so bye